Hi guys, uh, so I'm going to be presenting on multi-routing with OpenVPN and OpenWRT. What that allows you to do is with the OpenWRT router, you can have only certain protocols go to the VPN or certain IPs go to the IPN or an entire uh, interface go to an IPN or the entire uh, the entire uh, one device going to the by the IP. So if let's log in and let's start with my presentation. So first thing we're going to do is we're gonna make sure all the software is installed properly. Um, my internet's at 192.168.5.1, it's called home network. If you went to the previous tutorial, then you would have two subnets working, but this is uh, only, you can do this only on one VPN as well. So let's continue with this uh, demonstration. So if I go to system, I go to software, I go to update lists because we need to update the list to make sure all the packages are, are, are shown up. We go to M1, so M1.3 needs to be installed and Lucy app M1.3 needs to be installed as well. Both those packages, this multi-routing package. The other package that needs to be installed is OpenVPN. OpenVPN TSS SSL is what we're gonna be using. And also as well as the uh, Lucy app OpenVPN uh, product because it makes it, things easier for us than the command line. Uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to network interfaces and we're gonna add the network interface. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add the ton zero interface. That's the interface we're going to be using, make it unmanaged because VPN is going to be managing that. And we're going to add ton zero here. And then that will be ton zero for the interface, create interface, click on save. And the next thing we're going to do is save and apply. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the open VPN configuration. So if I go open VPN, we're going to, it's already there. So but I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to delete it for temporarily. And then I'm going to click on save and apply. Looks like it's already been applied. So now we're going to add the VPN configuration. You can get this configuration off your VPN provider. If they support open VPN, Nord VPN, express VPN, proton VPN, which is free. You know, like the high that proton VPN has a free option for one device. You have to look at their terms and conditions, but, um, this, this VPN is free and I can add that. So I'm going to just add the Nord VPN and I'm going to call it proton VPN. I'm going to click on upload. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit that, that, that option. And I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to, um, change the dev. So right now by default it's dev, dev ton, I'm gonna make it dev ton zero. I'm going to make the, the, the off pass, the down at the bottom, we need to change that configuration. So it points to the right location. So I'm going to point it to here. here uh, and then I'm going to click on then also I need to add the roots so the roots as well need to be there so basically we want to take out the root the default root out of the your the Nord VPN the, sorry Proton VPN doesn't have the default root but some VPN default clients have the, the default root and you'll need to remove it. And then you add this line here, which means don't put a default root there. And then you can actually sort, which is routing. Otherwise your default route where anything will go to the VPN, everything will go to the VPN, not your selected option. I'm gonna click on save like this. Okay. And now I'm going to, uh, after save, I'm going to put my, my pass, my user and password there. So, um, uh, Okay. Click on save. And then I'm going to go to network and I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go to VPN. I'm going to open VPN. Now everything should be enabled for the VPN. So before, I'm going to click on start and it should be connected after this. If I go to system, and I go to start, uh, I go to, um, system log. And what you can see here is at the very end, that it's connected to the, to the, uh, VPN right here. You can see it's, it's, it's connected. Now I'm going to click on uh stop. No, sorry, no, 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 sorry. Now I'm going to enable the, uh, multi one configuration. After doing this, and this multi wall configuration allows you to sort things out. Um, and I want to go to multi.
default to on and make sure the routing table is 240. We're going to add the ton zero device. So the ton zero interface, we're going to make it enabled. We're going to click on save. You can also do tracking to make sure it's up and running. I'm not going to do that uh, right here. Let me just show you here. So you can tell it to ping an IP address to make it sure it's up. I'm not going to do that. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make sure in the status that it's there. Uh, I'm going to click on a member. I'm clicking on ton zero M1, and that's what we'll name it. These names all have to be unique for each one of these. So uh, ton zero M1 seems a, is a good enough name. I'm going to add that there. And I'm going to add ton zero. I'm going to leave the metrics there because I want, I'm just going to be filtering it by IP or by protocol. I'm going to click on save and apply. Okay, I'm going to click on policy now. We're going to add the uh, ton zero only policy, which means it'll, there's only one interface to that policy. Click on save, save and apply. Now everything should be good to go, um, but we're, we just need to create the firewall now. So I'm going to go to the firewall. I'm going to add the firewall here. Call it ton fire. Make sure this is reject for the input. Output is accept. Forward is reject. Masquerading is enabled. <coughs> Covered networks is ton zero. A destination is the LAN device and as well as the LAN here. Click on save and uh, click on save and apply. Now, after that, everything should be good to set up. And now all we got to do is we just got to change the, uh, the VPN, the, the, the multi one rules. And I'm going to make everything for now. Go to, uh, I want to make everything go to the, mul the multi the, the, the device. So right here, it's one only, I'm just going to change this. I'm going to make this uh ton only and i'm going to click on save the reason why i'm doing everything is because i was trying 443 originally and some devices some of the websites go outside the 443 port to find the ip address and i just want to make sure that i have the right ip so i'm just going to do ton only for this one uh just so you know you can do different ports you can also do the ip here and i'll sh I'll, I'll show you the settings in a second after verifying this is working so go here i go to google and we're going to go look for what's my IP. Uh, it looks like we forgot something. Uh, no. So ton zero is up. Uh, maybe it's just taking a while to load. Yeah, I was just taking a while to load. I'm going to go, what's my IP address? It might, might take a little bit of time to, to, to boot up the, the after it's initialized it. So give it like 30 seconds. I'm going to go to what's my IP. This should be the, the IP of my Japan. And that's what it is right here. As you can see, it's Japan. My IP is Japan. So that's the that's the, the steps that you have to do. Uh, if you want to change the IP here too, you can go by IP. So if I go here and I go to IP address, my IP is 192.168.5.197. I can change it to that IP. So only that IP will go there. So I'm going to go here, VPN, network, multi one monitor, rule, I'm going to edit this and we're going to just make it so the only the IP is there. So we're actually, we'll actually change this to WAN. So you want it, it's working with WAN. So everything is WAN, but this IP. So this is WAN here. And then I'm going to click on save and apply. And then I'm going to add a new rule here. It's called uh, only IP. And I'm going to add my protocol. I'm going to say all protocols. I'm going to say source IP address is. 1970 and we're going to use extension 32 for the single IP and we're destination IP address would be 0.0.0.0 slash .0 .0 .0 any destination. And it's going to use a uh, ton only click on save. And that's how you do a particular IP. Oh, I guess it, it the source address doesn't like that. The spaces in, in the front. There we go. Click on save, save and apply. Now we want to move the order of ton zero because it goes by top to bottom. So you want to move the order to the very top and click on save and apply. And then what I want to do is I want to give it a, a couple seconds. 
and I'm going to click on, give it a, wait, we can always go to the status to see what the status is here on the system log. Let's go back to make sure everything is loaded. Internet one is online. So we're just waiting for this to only IP. So we've added the invalid IP address. So it doesn't like the IP address there. Um, might, might need to get rid of the slash 32. I go here. The default res. Okay. So let's, uh, oh, it's invalid IPv6 address. Yes. Because it's an IPv4 address. Okay. So I'm going to double check that it accepts both. It doesn't like the, uh, the IP address for this one here because it's not, it, 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 it's saying it's invalid IPv6, but it's got, a. Uh, the um, 32 bits. So if I go here, I click on refresh. And we see it's still connected there. So basically that's the way you do it. Uh, you have a great day, everybody. And uh, hope you enjoy using your the VPN if, when, if you decide to go that route. Tomorrow, oh, well, tomorrow or maybe later on, I'll post a video on how to do uh, guest network with the OPV, open VPN only. So we're going to create a guest network and we're going to we're going to do open VPN only. Thank you and have a great day.